So, Teshi Dele to everyone. Today, in this reading class, we're going to cover the third group and the fourth group of the consonants. Ta. 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 Ra. Ra ta ta 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 ta. Ta means horse. Ta. 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 Ta pa tap. 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 Tap means gas stove. Ta. 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 Ta shab yu thuk ka thuk. Ta shab yu thuk ka thuk. Thuk means poison. Na. 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 Na, 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 in a house, in a box, as a preposition in, and it also means home as a noun. So a home or in something. In a house, in a box or a home. Nang. Pa. 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 Tho pa dung bo pe cha. Tho pa dung bo pe cha. Tho pa dung bo pe cha. Pe cha. So pe cha means scripture. Pa. 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 Pa.
pa pa shab yu pu pa shab yu pu ka pu ran na ru ran na ran pu ran pa shab yu pu ka pu ran na ru ran na ran pu ran so one way to pronounce this so this is for actually uh when uh we're starting to read or starting uh to learn how to read so this is there are two type of character reading in one of the character reading i will only read each character once so pashap ke puk ka puk rana ro rana ran so here you can hear that i have read each character only one time but now there is another way in which i will recite each of the character uh multiple times until i can create the entire word pa pashap ke pu pashap ke pu ka pu pa pashap ke pu pashap ke pu ka pu pa pashap ke pu pashap ke pu ka pu ra rana ro ro rana ro ro na run ra rana ro ro rana ro ro na run ra rana ro ro rana ro ro na run pu run pa pa shap ke pu pa shap ke pu ka pu ra rana ro ro rana ro ro na run pu run pu run means pigeon pa 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 na ro po pa na ro po ta pe pa pa na ro po pa na ro po ta pe pa pa na ro po pa na ro po ta pe so p means tibet ma 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 ke ku mi ma ma ke ku mi ma ma ke ku mi mi means human so this is it for today's class on reading so uh since we we are beginning how to read it is very important to read it loud and clear so there is two benefits of reading loud the first benefit is that when you read when you read loudly your speech becomes clear the louder you read you are able to hear the sound of each and every one of the word clearly and so you can actually correct yourself while you are pronouncing and that uh, results in you having a clear and a correct speech so when you are are uh, able to hear a correct speech for a long time eventually not only will your uh, speech will be more clear you will also feel more confident so uh, whenever you are reciting or pronouncing these words make sure that you are reciting or pronouncing them loudly so the more louder you are able to recite them it's uh but there is a difference between reciting and shouting so make sure that you are reciting it which means that you're putting the strength behind you your voice but you are not actually shouting the words out so make sure that you are reciting them loudly and not shouting so the second benefit of uh reciting something loudly is that it also opens up your mind so you become more aware of everything not only that uh, intellectually you are capable of developing faster 
if you're reading something loudly. So make sure that you're reading it, but not shouting it out. So read it loud and clear. Okay, so this will be the class for today. So please listen to this uh, as many times as you like and practice these so that soon we will be able to identify all the consonants, all the vowels, and then uh, later on we can combine all of these to actually read word in Tibetan. Okay, thank you.